All right, guys, now I want to talk about the easiest way to change the look of the blog and the most important way, and that is by changing the theme. So I'm going to pause and just log in real quick. So when you first install WordPress, it doesn't look like this whatsoever uh, on your blog, as you re probably remember when I first showed you when I uh, in the setup video. Now I've got this uh, customized theme on here, and I'm probably not done tweaking it completely. I'm not sure about this header, but anyway. Um, and now I've got these, uh, you know, when I scroll over here, I got that little arrow that shows up and it looks pretty nice and professional. I've got my Twitter link up here. I've got my sign up for my free newsletter thing right here where you can sign up for that. And um, it's just very customized and looks nice. And the way I did that is by, let's see, let's go to the dashboard. And we, what we do is you just go into the dashboard and go under themes. And what I have is a streamlined child theme by Genesis. So what, uh, what I recommend personally is either using a free theme, which you can do by just going into install themes. And I've used three free themes for years. Um, and you can search through by clicking these uh, boxes, you know, if you're looking for certain colors, one column, two column, three column, four columns, uh, width, uh, different features to put on. Uh, you can do like seasonal if you want to do a Christmas theme, photo blogging, other holidays. And there's just thousands of free themes. But what I've found over the years now is I like to use uh, paid themes. And my favorite is the Genesis framework. So what you do is you go to studiopress.com and they, they have a link here that says shop for themes. And what, they, what you do is you have to purchase the Genesis framework. And some people can just code directly on the Genesis framework. I'm an idiot when it comes to all that technical stuff. So uh, what you also have to purchase is one of these child themes, they're called. And here's a, a package for all the child themes, but it's quite expensive, obviously, um, unless you're you know, in the market for that and got the money for that. But uh, I have just a few of these child themes and the, the Genesis theme framework is $59.95 and then the child themes are $24.95. So you get a very professional looking website at the cost of you know, under a hundred bucks, which is probably you know, it's, it's less than, than hiring a coder to do like a professional theme for you. Um, and you kind of get like, you can see how you can just get all sorts of different looks. And so I, I recommend checking this out if, um, you know, if you, if you, if you can spend that kind of money, if not, just go for a free theme, really. It's, uh, there's a lot of different free themes. Just do a Google search on like what the best free theme is. Um, and what other people are saying, and, and maybe they'll give you some, you know, pictures of what the best ones look like and stuff. But um, again, I like the Genesis themes. Um, but it's very simple to install once you do purchase a theme, or if you download a theme, you simply just search for it, um, or in the system, or you just upload it from your computer, and then you just click activate. So if you, it'll show up in here. And if I wanted to activate this theme, I would just click it, all right, and preview it. And it just automatically previews now in the new WordPress. And then I would just say save and activate. But I'm not going to do that because I don't want to mess my whole website up here. So, well, it wouldn't mess it up. It would just make it look weird. Okay, so that's themes. We'll move on to, uh, in, to the next video when we can customize it even further with like a custom header um, in the next video.